Hi all, my name is Temi, also known as Living Letter Plans, and today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious roasted butternut and chickpea salad. I've done a full blog sharing with you five filling delicious salad recipes and have created some recipe spreads to go along with them with some fun illustrations which I'm also going to show you how to do in this video so be sure to check that out. So I'm going to use this TN size notebook from the spring collection and this is the perfect size to do a nice illustration with your ingredients and method underneath. Which you can then keep to create a recipe journal. So for this recipe you're going to need one butternut squash one tin of chickpeas, 150 grams of feta, some mixed salad leaves, four teaspoons of olive oil, an eighth cup of olive oil, an eighth cup of lemon juice, one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning, and some salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to start by peeling the butternut and the easiest way to do this is chop off the top of the bottom, chop it in half, lay it on its side and slice down the side of the butternut. Then you're going to chop it in half and grab a spoon and spoon out all the seeds that are in the middle. You can keep these seeds and roast them to create a nice topping for a soup or even for this salad. Once you've taken out all the seeds you're going to slice the butternut into just over half an inch chunks and then you're going to pop this in a tin, add two teaspoons of olive oil, a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper and then you're going to get your hands in there and toss it around. Then we're going to move on to our chickpeas. Again, you're going to add two teaspoons of olive oil, a pinch of salt and pepper, and a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. Then you're going to mix this all up until it's coated really well and pour this into your baking tray with your butternut. Give it a shake and pop this in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. Then you're going to take your block of feta and chop this up into chunks about the same size as your butternut squash. And then we're going to create our dressing, which is an eighth cup of olive oil, an eighth cup of lemon juice, a pinch of salt and pepper. And you're going to give this a really good mix until everything is combined really well. So before we assemble the salad, I'm just going to create my spread. And here I'm just added my title and then I'm using my calligraph pens to create some of the lettuce leaves. And this is what I love about calligraph pens and acrylograph pens. They layer really well. So I use my acrylograph pens for some of the shading and detail. In the same way, we're going to build the salad in a moment. We're just going to build on the design as well. The details of the pens used will also be in my blog. So then you're going to add your mixed leaves and then drizzle on your dressing that you've made and then give it a good toss so that all the leaves are covered. And then I'm going to add my layer of butternut squash. So I'm just doing a couple of layers of my orange acrylograph pen to cover the dark green colours. And then using a lighter yellow shade and darker brown shade to add some shading to my butternut squash. So then we're going to drizzle that on top of the leaves. The next layer on top of that is my chickpeas. Again, I'm shading these with a lighter acrylograph pen. And then we're going to sprinkle these on top of the butternut and leaves and then add our feta and then we're going to drizzle the whole thing with a little bit more of our homemade dressing and there's your salad and here is the recipe spread that i've created which fits perfectly in this layout in the tn you can find the full recipes and more spreads that i've created in the blog and be sure to tag us archer and olive and share your recipe spread ideas and recipes with us Thank you so much for watching. I'm off to enjoy my salad and I'll see you again soon.